Hey guys, so Jack Drips here today, and um, yeah, I've got a review of the Infinite Magma Clone that I purchased from greyhaze.co.uk, and um, yeah, I mean, first of all, I'm going to say I've been loving this atomizer, and I got the black version to go on my IPV. I think it looks pretty cool and I got a cherry vape some um, drip tip it's the ivy one from cloud nine vaping and um, yeah basically I'm gonna talk about it up top first and then we're gonna dive down and then come back and um, yeah just check this thing out really and today I am vaping on Drake's vapes um, punky bruiser which is also from greyhaze.co.uk in 6 milligram, 50-50 uh, PGVG great flavour guys and um, I'm actually going to have a review of that later on but now we're talking about the Magma clone now putting clone stuff outside put it off to one side, whatever okay, the whole Clone Wars thing um, I don't have a problem with clones, you know, buy what you can afford, vape what you can afford, um, there's no stopping these clones, it just means people, um, modders have to innovate and bring out new products, so when their first product gets cloned, then they drop it and move on and create something better, And um, but what I don't really agree with is the labelling. Okay, this has the exact same, exact same <laughs> logos and text and everything. Everything about it is the same as the um, original Magma, which is by Paradigm Mods, which I think is awesome. And um, yeah, it has no logos or anything on the bottom, but I'm not sure if the actual Magma does. Um, it might have a serial number or something, I'm not sure if the real one does, but this has none of it and also it is the black version which means it's a clone of a real product but it's not a real product too because there isn't such thing as the actual black magma um, this is a infinite clone that they have done in a black finish so um, they didn't clone the original black one because there isn't an original black one so I kind of like that I like the look of this in black I think it's really cool and um, I got it to match with my IPV which is also black well it's kind of like a really dark grey but I mean I think it looks cool with the green cherry vapes as well I mean I like the looks of it but more importantly I love the features and the functionality of this I mean first of all let's start with it is O-ringless. It has no O-rings at all in the build, the design. Um, everything screws together or slots into place. And um, so you've got no O-rings that will wear out or anything. So I think that's cool. Um, yeah, I'll show you the box uh, in a minute in the up closes, up close shots. But yeah, if we go ahead and I like to hold the um, airflow control in place so it doesn't move. And look at that the top cap you just screw off no o-rings you don't cap pop it down so even less chance of leaks you've got this airflow control ring which I will show you more in the up close oh, pardon me burp life and you've got the build deck there two post design um, I will show you obviously closer and it's got an insanely deep juice well ton of juice can go in this thing and um, yeah, I just really love the design, the looks, and the functionality. And then we get to um, the performance. Okay, the performance is insanely good for one reason, which is where the air holes are positioned. They are positioned underneath the coil, so you've got the coil there underneath, so the airflow is coming straight up, you know, straight through the coil. Um, like the K-Fun, why the K-Fun, why the K-Fun <laughs> has such a good um, design is because the airflow is coming up from the bottom 
and obviously that's a single coil and um, you know a lot smaller airflow than this but it gives great flavor and the magma also gives insane insane flavor just delicious amazing okay I love the design right um, yeah the I'm gonna give you you know a feel of it now so if you don't want to watch the up close stuff that's fine but basically it's um, the draw are I think they are probably the largest airflow setting I think is close to 3 mil I don't think it's quite 3 mil but then I'm running this in joule so I've got joule um, of that airflow size and it's good it's not the most airy thing in the world you know it's not as airy as like the um, the tobe even though the tobe isn't that airy this is I feel not as loose of a draw as the tobe but I mean it still produces a nice amount of vapour and um, yeah I think that this is not for the insane cloud chasers, this is for a flavour whore like me, I love my flavour, obviously I like to blow clouds every now and again and I like you know, high wattage and um, the heat and everything and the, I like seeing you know, large amounts of vapour come out but this is enough for me and um, yeah I mean I just think it looks cool um, I think it performs amazingly. This is my go-to Atty at the moment and I just freaking love it guys, okay? Seriously, for the price I paid for it, I think it's unbeatable in my opinion. I think it's amazing atomizer and um, yeah, I'm gonna stop gushing about it now and I think I'll go to the up close section. Right, so this is the box that the magma comes in. It just says infinite on there, pretty plain. Open, tells you how to open it, which is pretty helpful. So we go ahead, look inside the box. That is where the Atty sat in there. And then in there was these, which are some pre-made, what, 32 gauge canthors or nichrome or something. Um, around silica which I will not be using and also it came with a um, a flathead screwdriver as well one of the small ones because the magma uses flathead screws so we'll get that out of the way right okay guys so here we are up close with the magma clone from infinite and um, yeah I'm just gonna take it off my mod here actually no I'm not going to yeah I will why not? <laughs> I can unscrew this. I don't need to, you know, with like a lot of atomizers, you can't pull the top cap off unless it's on something. But with this one, it's just um, intuitive, ingenious design, in my opinion, where you can just unscrew the top cap. So if you go ahead and do that here, I'll start from top to bottom. So on the top cap, you notice they have the logos. Ooh. Naughty. <laughs> no, I don't mind that. I mean, you know, the Clone Wars thing is a it's an issue that I don't think can really be stopped in the vaping industry, but maybe that's a topic for another video. But yes, they do have the logos on this one, and um, in the top cap, you may be able to notice there, not sure how well you guys can see that, but it's like a uh, dome. It's like a conical dome, reduced chamber for even better flavour than it's already producing so I mean just great flavour and that is part of the design they did that for a reason so I think the top cap is cool and I, the main thing I love about it is that it screws on to the deck which is freaking awesome okay um, no wear rings and shit like that because you know that they can wear out etc then we have the build deck here with the airflow control ring that comes off just slides straight off juice everywhere <laughs> but basically this has um, not sure how well you can see that there three airflow holes so you've got the biggest one in the middle and then we go a bit smaller and then you've got the smallest one on that side there so very small so I reckon uh, 0.8 mil 
1.2 mil and then I'd say probably 2.8 mil I'm just guessing but it has got tons of these things all the way around so you can set it up in single coil mode or dual coil mode uh, my Macs are very loud at the moment I'm going to have to try and do something about that and then we come to the build deck here as you notice it is not anything it's nothing like anything that's on the market at the moment because it is a two post design so you think oh shit this might limit me I won't be able to do dual coils yes you can just to touch it in completely opposite each other now I mean if you want to do quad coils or shit like that I'm not sure it would actually work um, because of where the airflow is situated let's try and get that in there sorry my cotton and that's in the way but you can kind of see on this side the airflow hole where it comes up underneath the coil and then down in here if I can show you somehow I've got anything I can stab it with stab it with come on opening why am I doing it one handed come on this is my rebuildy case with all my all that good stuff in so yeah if I grab some tweezers here quick you can see that the um, build deck is very deep uh, very very deep indeed I'd say probably a good 3 mil 3 mil deep juice well I'm guessing so you, I mean you can shove all loads of cotton down in the sides here so as you can see how you build it you build your coil here above the airflow hole so the vapor comes in from the side and up and then uh, while well, the air comes in from the side and up touches the coil produces vapor that's coming straight at your face and it's awesome and then you just build your wicks and tuck them down in this insanely ridiculously large juice well I mean I haven't packed loads of cotton in here because I don't want dry hits because obviously the juice is coming up it's against gravity there but I mean you could probably shove some more juice in here and it probably hold about a mil so I mean a mil of juice in a dripper that's just insane and seriously good like a really good point I mean I could take this round for you and not have to drip for a while and um, yeah then this airflow ring just goes on there just slot straight over and then you select what size air hole you want so I'm gonna go with the uh, the biggest one currently because that's my preferred and I have got it so then it's on both sides the airflow grab your top cap on screw that down and I do that whilst holding on to the airflow ring or you can screw it down and mess up your airflow so um, yeah you just hold on to the airflow ring and um, that's that all there completed all set up and the build I have in here at the moment is a 0.9 ohm dual coil see what that looks like oh yeah see that looks beast there with a um, black drip tip on there too, wide board del ring but I'm going to change back to this cherry vapes one because I've actually been enjoying it quite a lot but yeah the build I have is a 0.9 ohm dual coil and I'm running it on my IPV at about 30 watts, maybe I'll bump it up more um, in a second and um, yeah it's just been performing really well and now you've seen the inside you can tell why it's so good it's because of that where the airflow is coming from and the reduced um, chamber in the top cap all contributing to lovely delicious vapor right so I'm gonna head back up to um, normal view and talk about it a bit more and have a little vape right guys so that was the up close for the um, infinite magma the black version and um, yeah, I've just got it on my IPV V2 at the moment, which is upside down, reading at 30 watts, giving me 5.4 volts to the coils. And um, yeah, I've liked it around there. It's the right heat, and you know, I can just adjust it up or down depending on what I feel like. Right, so basically, I've been enjoying this a lot, 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 lot it's um, my favorite Atti in my collection and um, yeah aside from the logos which I'm not too fussed about but 
it is stealing. <laughs> I mean, for um, Paradigm, the guys that make this original, for them to um, patent the design and um, copyright the logos and everything, trademarks, I mean, it's going to cost a lot of money and it's going to, you know, waste a lot of time. And by the time, you know, a few months to get the trademarks and the copyrights and everything, in a few months' time, then the next best thing will be along. So what is the point? Put out your product, you know, make it available, widely available as much as you can, put a decent price, a reasonable price point on it, and it's going to sell. And then it will get cloned, and then guess what, guys? You have to move on to the next thing. That's just how it works in this industry, and it's sad. I mean, it would be seriously cool if everyone could afford the authentic, but that's just not how it goes in, you know, these days. So, should we just have another two real, real quick? See, still producing plenty of vapour despite the airflow holes not being the biggest um, but the flavour guys and the warmth is just bang on for me I love it, it's bringing out new notes in my e-liquid that I've never had before it's got a nice even smooth flowing draw and um, yeah I, I really am enjoying this one guys and um, I'm not too sure what else I can tell you about this if you want to check this out for yourself, go over to greyhaze.co.uk and um, I will tell you the price now actually because um, that's probably quite an important factor is how much you're going to pay for this. Grey Haze, let's just pop over to this site which I really do like guys, they stock clones and authentics and lots of juice and accessories, everything, but yes, let's search Magma. Oh, pardon me. Perp life. Right, so you can get this in black or stainless. I went for the black version just for the matchy matchy. And it is £22.99, pennies, which I think is a steal for what you're getting. Solid build construction, solid vape quality, great functionality, great unique features, a unique look. This is 22 millimeters, but the airflow ring sticks out a little bit, but it does go back to 22 mil. So it will look flush on MEX, which I can do for you right now. No, I can't. I don't have my Nemesis anywhere near me. One sec. Right, okay, guys, so that's what it looks like on a 22 millimeter MEX mod. And it sits flush at the base there and then protrudes a little bit up, which I kind of like the look of that. It's pretty cool. I know it's in um, black and this is a stainless nemesis, but you can get the stainless um, magma too, and it is in a brushed stainless, so it will look nice on here. But yeah, that's what it looks like on there. I don't actually have a battery in here at the moment. So I cannot vape it on this, but I will change over. And I mean, for £24 for a clone that is... Um, not expensive, not cheap, and I think it's worth every single penny. Alright, okay guys, we are done with the Infinite Magma from greyhaze.co.uk and um, get it in black or stainless and £24 and that's all I can really tell you about it, guys. So if you do want to check this out, go to greyhaze.co.uk. If you have any questions for me, email me at jackdrips, jackdrips at gmail.com. Jackdrips at gmail.com. If you've got any questions, I'm on Facebook. Just search for Jack Drips, obviously, here on YouTube. And um, peace out, guys. Me and the magma. Oh, out.